Friends, welcome back to the Banker of Pippo YouTube channel. I'm Bryce, and in this video, we're going to unbox the Govi Flow Pro Light Bars. So these bars are essentially used for the back of your computer monitors, TVs, and otherwise, just to reduce some eye strain or to give a little bit of extra added cosmetic energy, which is what I mainly use it for. So let's just open it up and get right into it. All right, so... First, I'm just going to kind of cut open the box, get rid of that safety tape. And the first thing that we see when we open up the box is the good old instruction manual and a little bit of propaganda from Govi just telling us to install their app. No unboxing is good without either of those items, so instructions will help you out later on. Let me just take out this top box initially. There's a little white box on the top of this. I'm just going to put that off to the side to the now, just make sure I empty out the entire box first. Next, we've got the stands for the light bars. There's two different options. There are triangle ones where you can prop the bars up right behind your TV. And those are good for mainly PCs, I would say. And then the next options are ones that can actually mount right to the back of your TV. It has some 3M tape that shouldn't damage the back of your panel and can go on nice and snug for your viewing pleasure. And then looks like we got more boxes over here on the right. We'll find out what those are in just a second. I'm guessing it's going to be the power adapter, uh, things to set up the camera, things of that nature. So let me just take a little bit more of a deep dive into this box, make sure I'm not missing anything overall. And it looks like we've got another <laughs> another small box hidden behind there. This box is just full of surprises. And it looks like the only thing that we have next are these little orange cubes. I believe those are used to set up the camera. For those of you who don't know, there's a camera that comes with this that can adjust the color of the light bars based on what your TV is displaying. So pretty cool overall. Let's open up these bad boys, though. So first, let's open up the smallest box that we have. I'm going to guess this is going to be the power adapter. And if I can get this box open and my fingers aren't too clumsy, I can actually show you guys what we got going on. But it looks like I was correct. So this is the power adapter that we're going to use to you guessed it, put power into our light bars and get them going to display what we need them to display. Next, got another smaller box. I'm going to guess this is the uh, motherboard, if you will. It's got three different settings. It's got turning it on and off. It's got a middle button for adjusting the color and also the mode as well. And it's got some 3M tape, so if you also want to strap it to the back of your TV or monitor, you can do that as well without harming your TV. And then lastly, we've got another smaller box. I should say second to last because we got the biggest box coming up. I'm going to guess this is going to be the camera that goes on to the top of your monitor that monitors uh, whatever color your uh, display is showing and adjusts accordingly. And yep, I was right. And it comes with, you guessed it, 3M tape on the bottom so that you can strap it to the top of your monitor or TV if your TV is thick enough, that is. In my case, I won't be using this because the top of my TV is less than an inch thick, so this won't fit, but for you, it probably will. Then lastly, we've got the granddaddy of all the boxes within the box, and I'm going to take a wild guess and say these are the two light bars. And what do you know? We open it up and we see the two light bars. They are pretty tall, uh, 10 inches tall to be exact. It, and it does, 10 inches doesn't sound like a lot, but with these, definitely a lot taller than I ever thought they would be. I was concerned that these wouldn't emit enough light in the back of my TV. I have a 65 inch TV just for a little bit of reference for you guys at home there. But yeah, these things are nice and sizable without being too big. Uh, durable as well. They don't feel too cheap. And they've got wires on the bottom that can connect to the motherboard piece that we found earlier. So then you can get power to these and change colors and whatever else. And the cords are plenty long too. So if you guys are worried about uh, not having a ton of room to work with, I'd say these cords are probably about eight feet to six feet long, give or take. Now, I ended up putting these behind my soundbar and also behind my TV. I didn't end up putting them on my TV because I was I just bought a brand new TV and I wanted to try something different. So I have my soundbars on the ground actually pointing to the ceiling and they really emit some really strong light. I ended up choosing purple for mine, but the cable management was a little bit left to be desired. I think there's too many cables that come with this product overall, but I can't complain about the lighting options that we've got because you can choose just about any other color 
And it comes with an app too, so that always helps. So overall, I think it's worth a shot if you guys are looking for different light solutions. But I want to know what you think. Have you guys tried these? Comment below. Let me know. Thanks so much for visiting. This has been the Bankrupt Hippo YouTube channel. Until next time, have a great day.